Is Mysterium VPN actually worth using? That's what I want to figure out because I keep seeing more and more new VPNs popping up, all claiming to be the best, the fastest, the most private, whatever. So I tried Mysterium myself to see if it holds up. And if you decide to check it out after watching this, there's a link in the description that will get you the best deal they have right now, or you could simply scan the QR code on screen. So here's what got me curious about Mysterium in the first place. I'd been using one of the big name VPNs for a while and they all seemed to piling on weird features I never asked for and getting more and more expensive. The more I looked into it, the more I realized that most of them were just huge companies trying to look techy without actually giving you much freedom. That's when I came across Mysterium. It's not a massive corporation, it's more like this growing network of people who believe in a free, open internet and the coolest part is that it's decentralized. Instead of everything running through a few big servers, you're connecting through real people, residential IPs. That means your internet traffic looks more natural and you're way less likely to get blocked by streaming services or websites. One thing I noticed right away was how many countries you could connect to. You get access to over 100, which is pretty solid. I also like that I could use it up to six devices at the same time. I'm constantly switching between my phone, laptop, tablet, and sometimes I just forget what's connected where. No need to log in and out all the time. It also works pretty much every Windows, Mac, Linux, Android, iPhone, and they even have browser extensions if you prefer keeping it simple. I tried it on Chrome and Brave, and it worked great on both. It's just one of those things where I install it once, set it up, and it just keeps running in the background without bothering. Also, it has a built-in protection so your IP and DNS don't leak. That sounds technical, but basically, it just means your real identity online stays hidden, even if sometimes glitches. There's also a kill switch, which is a fancy way of saying if the VPN connection suddenly drops, it cuts off your internet to make sure you don't accidentally go online unprotected. That's something I had issues with other VPNs, so it's nice knowing that Mysterium handled that automatically. It also runs on WireGuard, which is one of the fastest and more secure VPN protocols right now. All that just made things feel stable, even when I was streaming or switching between different countries. And speaking of streaming, the speed actually held up way better than I expected. I'd figure using residential IPs might slow things down, but it really didn't. I was watching HD videos, playing games online, everything just felt smooth. There's also a newer encryption standard they use called ChaCha20. Now, I'm not going to pretend I fully understand the math behind it, but I think it's kind of a modern way to lock down your connection without slowing everything to crawl. They're also super clean about not tracking. Everything GDPR compliant, and they don't keep logs of what you're doing online. There are also dedicated IPs available if you ever need one, like for work on a certain app that don't like shared IPs. And even though Mysterium is built in a completely different way compared to traditional VNs, the whole experience still felt familiar and easy to use. I wasn't constantly digging through settings or asking myself if I set it up right. Once it was running, it just worked and that made me just trust it a lot more. Now, not everything is perfect. Since it's decentralized and uses real residential IPs, sometimes it can take a little longer to find the best connection. Like when there are a couple of moments where I had to wait an extra few seconds while it searched for a good node, nothing terrible, just something to keep that in mind. And the other thing is that if you ever want to cancel or change your subscription, it's not fully automated yet. You might have to contact support instead of doing it instantly through your account settings. But my experience, support always got back to me quickly, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue. So after trying it for a few weeks, I do think Mysterium VPN is worth using for sure. It gave me the kind of privacy and freedom I was looking for without all the fluff and gimmicks I've seen from other VPNs. I felt like I was in control again instead of just signing into another corporate system. It's fast, flexible, protects your data well, and it does all of that also supporting the bigger idea of free internet. If you're even a little curious about what decentralized VPN feels like, or you're just tired of the same old VPN experience, check out the link below or scan the QR code on the screen.